I'm Jeff Barr, and today I'm speaking with Colin Davis, General Manager of Alexa for Business. Welcome. Hi, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Happy to have you. Tell me a little bit about what Alexa for Business is all about. Yeah, you bet. Alexa for Business is a service uh, that we built to help customers uh, be able to take advantage of Alexa to get their work done and to be able to do their jobs more easily. With millions of customers already using Alexa and loving to do things like set timers or control smart home or play music in their homes, uh, we wanted to enable organizations to be able to use voice and natural language to be able to get common tasks at work done, like to-do lists or meetings uh, or, or be able to track things like calendars. Okay, so give me some examples of, in detail of how our customers would make use of, of this. Absolutely. If you think about voice, it, it's, it, it is one of the most natural ways to communicate. It's how we as humans communicate and has a way of enabling us to get simple tasks done very easily and intuitively. Uh, one of the problems we identified early on was the pain point of a meeting room. Uh, we saw that customers loved using voice to control smart home. They can control the lights, shades, set, set the temperature in their houses. And we thought, why not be able to control the meeting room? We've all walked into that meeting room and been presented with the daunting collection of cables and dongles and, and touch panels and not quite known how to start that Some meeting. fully functional and others kind of residual. It's correct. And, if, and, and sometimes you might have to even call uh, AV to get help and have someone come take, a, take, take uh, the remote control and show you how to get the TV on the right input. We thought, why can't you just walk into the room and say, Alexa, start the meeting and have the TV turn on, have it dial into the right meeting. And we connected Alexa to uh, all of the common calendar providers like Exchange and Office 365 and Google's G Suite to enable us to automatically be able to figure out what meeting is supposed to be happening in that room at that time. So you don't even need to pull out your phone and find your calendar and find which meeting pin or ID to enter. You just say start the meeting. Um, now you can actually book conference rooms using Alexa as well. Or if you're in the hall and, and, and you see that colleague that you've been meaning to talk to about something and, and you need to find a place to have a conversation, you can ask Alexa to find a room nearby uh, and help you book to be able to uh, find a place to have that conversation. Oh, I didn't even know about that feature. It's really cool. Customers love it. They've, they've been playing with it and, and they love the ability to uh, be able to quickly find those places to meet and it just saves time from having to pull out your laptop and use whatever booking tool your company might use to be able to reserve meeting rooms. Okay, so you told me, uh, told me a little bit about the back-end integration, maybe go into a little bit more depth on that if you could. Yeah, and that's really only half the story. If you think about um, uh, Alexa for Business, we have part of it is focused on helping organizations be able to deploy Alexa uh, around the office space and shared communal spaces. Uh, but another part of it is really about enabling individuals and workers uh, to be able to use the Alexa devices that they already have. With over 100 million uh, Echo or Alexa-enabled devices sold in the US, it's really exciting to be able to think about how we can enable those customers to be able to use those devices that they already have to be more productive at work. For example, um, imagine being at home and, and having that thought occur to you uh, and rather than have to go downstairs to the kitchen where your phone might be plugged in charging to be able to just say, Alexa, remind me to call Jeff tomorrow morning to talk about the video shoot and have that reminder uh, show up the next day when we get to work. It's a, it's a very powerful tool that really enables us to do work in small, convenient micro transactions that's much more aligned with the way that workers do things today. I've certainly become a fan of checking my calendar every morning while I'm still in my home office. It's one of my favorite use cases, and, and, and we've even had some customers build flash briefings uh, that enable corporate communication. So uh, uh, if you, I'm sure you've used the flash briefing on the Alexa feature, but uh, for those that haven't, it enables you to be able to get your tech news or your political news or, or any type of news that you're interested in along with weather and traffic. And some customers have built corporate flash briefings that interleave uh, information that they want to communicate with their employees. So along with uh, the news that you might be getting, you might also be able to get internal announcements. Okay, so generally I'll say, Alexa, what's up? Or Alexa, what's new? Yep. So this will get integrated into those two? Yeah, so sources? what's my flash briefing? And you'll, you'll get your, your normal news that you like, along with the news that came from your department. Uh, or we've had other customers look at building skills that would help them to be able to get information about customer engagement or customer usage. Tell me about uh, the Acme account and be able to get information about that account, how many support mm. tickets they may have open, or what their current activity is, so they can be prepped for their day. Okay, you might have already answered this, but it sounds like the skill can actually differentiate. So, 
the information I get would be different than what, what you get That's right. we work for the same company? That's right. And, and this is very similar to the way that consumer skills work today. So uh, one of the popular skills is to be able to order a pizza from your home or order a, a ride from Lyft or Uber, for example. And uh, what you do is you set up an, a linking between your account on Alexa and the account of the service that you're using. So in the, in the scenario of uh, getting information from a CRM system, for example, Alexa, tell me about the customer, it would tell you uh, about the customer as it pertains to you and your and your information. We also enable with Alexa for Business companies to deploy skills privately. So rather than having to publish a skill to the public skills store where it would be accessible to all Alexa users, they have the ability to publish that skill only to their employees. So when their employees enroll themselves as a member of the organization that they work for, it gets them access to a collection of skills that their employer has published that connect to internal repositories and all sorts of internal information. Okay, so the data that they already have they can now access in a, in a brand new way via voice. That's right, and using a lot of the AWS tool sets around Lambda and the ability to build skills and connect them to other repositories that they're likely already hosting in the cloud is actually quite simple to set up a skill that can be voice accessed in order to interact okay, with common so data. Kind of an order of magnitude, what's the level of expertise and energy it would take to build a some kind of a connection or integration kind of, of a course, skill? Of course, it depends on the complexity of the integration, but we've had customers be able to build skills in a matter of hours. It's, it's, it's uh, really quite straightforward to build a very basic skill. One of the things that we encourage them to think about is what that voice experience is going to be. Building a voice user experience requires uh, thinking about things in a different way. It's not the same as building a UI, and so being thoughtful up front about how you want your internal customers to be able to interact with that, what types of requests you want them to be able to make so that they sound natural natural and so that Alexa's responses sound natural is something that requires some thought, but actually building the skill and connecting it to data is quite easy. We love to try out new things within the company. How, how have we put Alexa for business to use inside Amazon? Yeah, it's really neat. We've deployed Alexa to over 800 conference rooms around campus here in Seattle. And that was one of the first things we did when we started building Alexa for business is engage with Amazon as a customer. Uh, and they have a very high bar and, and they have uh, given us lots of good input for how Alexa could be useful in the conference room. Uh, we have it in a number of buildings. It's in the building that my team and I are in and we've moved buildings a few times. And as we've moved, uh, if we've gone into a conference room where it's not available, you quickly miss it. It's amazing how quickly it becomes habitual to say, Alexa, start the meeting. And if you're in one of the rooms where it hasn't been deployed yet, you miss it. By the end of the year, we plan to have it deployed to all of our conference rooms. What kind of devices do our customers typically connect up to Alexa for Business? Well, around meeting rooms, customers can use any of the Echo devices, like the Echo Dot or the or the or the Echo that people are familiar with, uh, and they can plug those in, and th those those devices will connect with the existing in-room systems. Uh, we also have some really exciting developments with third-party partners, like Polycom, for example. We're using AVS, that's our Alexa Voice Services SDK, which enables third parties to embed Alexa into their hardware. It's the same SDK that you've seen uh, third parties uh, in the smart home space or in the automobile industry being able to being used to embed Alexa into those devices. Uh, Polycom is embedding Alexa into a new line of their conference phones so that customers who already have them, they're called the Polycom Trio conference rooms, and customers who already have those in their conference rooms or who add them to their conference rooms can just use Alexa from those devices and they don't even need to add an, an additional Echo device. And that's really exciting to simplify the management and helps customers to be able to take advantage of Alexa for business, seamless management, and room configuration. So if I understand this, then that exist, existing Polycom device now becomes Alexa enabled. I don't have to buy something new just to That's right. be able to speak to it. And what we've done with Polycom is connect the Polycom management system with Alexa for Business so that when a customer sets it up, all of the rooms that they've configured in, in the Polycom system work with Alexa for Business and it just makes setup a breeze. Oh, got it, really cool. Right. Any other things we'd like to share with our audience regarding Alexa for Business? I'd love to share a few other customer stories. We've had some really interesting stories uh, where customers are using Alexa in ways that we didn't anticipate, and that's always fun when you build something that is extensible and, and enables developers to be creative. GE has some warehouses in the Northeast that uh, they built a skill that they put into Alexa devices inside a tool cage in the warehouse where there are thousands of parts. And they used to print four-inch thick 
three ring binders, if you believe it or not, and they would, they would put them outside the tool crib. And when, when an employee in the warehouse wanted to find the part, they would have to flip through this giant uh, three ring binder. And they would actually have to reprint that every single week because the inventory changed. They built a skill that allows you to ask where the part is. It saves them a ton of time. It's, they don't have to reprint it. They've actually told us that they think they save several hours a day uh, searching for and finding parts within this giant parts warehouse with tens of thousands of parts. Uh, really neat use case that we didn't anticipate and it's one of the exciting things about uh, the Alexa and the skill always getting smarter yeah. platform. So they already had that database, now they made it accessible in a much easier way. That's right, it's much easier and it's always up to date and, and it never gets stale. And of course, uh, lots of customers are using it in meeting rooms besides Amazon, Fender, uh, Condé Nast, St. Louis University, a number of different uh, companies have deployed uh, Alexa to their meeting rooms and they're taking advantage of being able to control meeting rooms just like we are. Excellent. Well, thanks for coming back today. Really appreciated speaking to you. I really enjoyed being here. Thanks for having me. I'm Jeff Barr. We've been speaking with Colin Davis, General Manager of Alexa for Business. You can learn more following the link on the screen. And thanks for watching.